<laughs> welcome back um if you notice that my voice sounds a bit different it's because two days ago i got tested positive for the coronavirus Yay! uh the omicron version so my voice is gonna be a bit different in this video but i will drown the coronavirus in coffee <sighs> anyways so i'm finally doing my full bookshelf tour i'll go through every shelf show you everything point out my favorites authors yada 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 Okay, let's get started. Let's start with this one. This is what I like to call my sad book slash K Tucker shelf. The Simple Wild is my favorite book of all times, so I recommend this to everybody. So of course I have a lot of her books. And then these are all sad books I own. We have Marnie Munn, she also writes great sad books, and Emma Scott, some other stuff, yada yada yada. On the second shelf here, this is a bit different. This is already into college romance more. So right here, we first of all have the Calloway universe. And then because this is kind of like school, college, but also other stuff, family, I kind of decided to add books by AJ, Anna Huang, we have Ella Field, and then we have Tijan, Nikki Sloan books. Those are these books. Very, very spicy. Age gap romance, forbidden love, lots and lots of spice, but very discreet covers. Now here we have the other side of my two top shelves. Also, oops, I almost fell over there. So up here we have, as you can see, my Colleen Hoover Shrine. I think I have all of her books. The only books I haven't read is Reminder of Him. I want to read this book though this weekend. Um, I haven't read the Slam Trilogy or Too Late, but I have read every other book by Colleen Hoover. Um, if you want me to make a video rating all of Colleen Hoover's books, just Tell me in the comments because I'm kind of thinking of doing a calling over week and finishing all her books. So I have, so I can actually read them all. Um, and then we also just have more sad books. <laughs> we have a little life. I haven't read that book. I don't think I ever plan on reading that book. These books complete my sad shelf collection. Now this book is all sports romances. The vibe is sports. We have over here, Lauren Asher. Then we have Ride and Crash. These are snowboarding romance books. And then we have all of my Mariana Zapata books. As you can tell, I have quite a lot. My favorites are Under Loke and Wait For It. Over here we have Kenny Ryan and obviously the Hoop series. It's a basketball series and I really love it. I love it. I love August. My favorite book is the first one, even though that's the one with the most triggers. Let me kneel. Kneel? I'm just kidding. Up here we have dark, dark romances. We have up here one of my favorite series of all times. I'm going to make a favorites video and this those are going to be included with more detail. I'm just naming the titles, but Ronex really quickly became one of my favorite authors. We have Willow Winters here. Those are very dark. This is the darkest series I ever read, Periculum. I do not recommend it. It was too much for me. Down here, we have a bit of a collection of different things. So we have this really nice long series and goes, that goes from high school towards college. Then we have military, office romance. Then we have B. Celeste, my collection B. Celeste and Katie Roberts. And I read the first four books in the Wicked Villain series. They are so good. Ugh! I need to buy tape so I can cover this because this is actually annoying me and triggering me. This is my Penelope Douglas shrine. I absolutely love the Dare to Love duet. It is so good in my opinion. Enemies to friends to lovers. And then we have the Flock Trilogy, which I haven't read. I know I need to read it. Now down here, it's a bit of a mess again. So we have, first we have Sports Romances. This series by Kristen Callahan owns me. It is so good. It is college football romance. The covers, not so good. And then we have Maya Hughes. I have quite a few of her books because they're football and I do quite enjoy them. Then over here, we have Sarah Adams. I just recently found out about her and I really like her books. I read two of hers. And then we have B.B. Reed and I actually really like B.B. Reed. I love Bandit, it was great in my opinion. And then down here, The Pathological Liar, which is a book I really enjoy. There's great representation in there um, for mental health. Probably weird to drink coffee and tea right after each other, but whatever. Right here, we have, first of all, Tilly Cole. I know a lot of people hated that book, but I loved a thousand. A thousand boy kisses so i have her motorcycle club series as well and then i obviously thought well why not put the other mo motorcycle mode <laughs> i thought why not put my other motorcycle series here as well which is this one by jonah darling and then we have two retellings which would be more fitting up there like on the shelf above they already showed because there's like kitty robert but there's no space so i have it here kings of corium which is very dark yeah this is just my motorcycle vibe shelf 
and gangs, like big groups of guys. Now down here, I think you can kind of tell what this is. This is my rom-com shelf. So we have my Christina Lauren shrine. So we have one of my favorite trilogies ever, which is the Brown Sister trilogy, um, Well Met. We have Tessa Bailey here as well, obviously. We have one of my favorite books ever, which is The Trouble With Hating You. And I don't know if you can see it or not. <laughs> Written in the Stars. This book is so good. I need to drink a bit more tea before I, before I start with this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we have the other set of my rom-com books. But we have some of my favorite books here as well. One of my favorite authors. Mahiri McFarlane. I love her writing. Then we have my Christmas romances, which I do have quite a lot from. And my candle, which says Christmas Eve, so it fits here perfectly. It's glass. Oh, it smells so good. And then we have just other rom-com books, The Love Hypothesis. And we have Anna Huang. Now down here, this is this is the this is kind of the rest shelf. Because I just they couldn't fit on the other shelves, but they kind of fit together. So we have published Wattpad. My favorite, obviously, in 27 Days. It is so good, so unique. We have Chasing Red, a classic, an absolute classic on Wattpad. Becoming Selfish, so good, such good mental health representation. I'm trying to like be small because I'm pretty sure that the screen is ending up here. So I like, so you can see my beautiful face. Do not look clips. So that's what you're here for. You are definitely not on this YouTube channel for the books. You are here for my face. This is the shelf and tales of my YA books that are not fantasy. Down here, I think you can kind of tell most of these are published by Wattpad. Um, so my favorites are the opposite of Farling Apart. Obviously, we have to have this book physical because it's just so good. And it's, it's such a classic. It is a must. It is a must. Now, <laughs> if you haven't, if you haven't noticed, I have the collector's edition of Anna and the French Kiss. These are all thrillers or like not romance based, more romance, all YA, obviously in the penalty box. It's a hockey YA romance, really good in my opinion. Great female main character. She's strong and independent and I love her. And obviously tweet cute enemies to lovers and rivals. Welcome to the rest of my YA shelves. So we have Bridget Kemmer. I love her books. I love her writing style. She's amazing in my opinion. We have Honey, You Just Got to Fake Dating. One of my favorite books as well. Fake Dating, Sapphic. So, so, so good. Excuse me while I ugly cry. I absolutely love this book, but yeah. These are also my YA books, but there's also like a border or like a, a fluent transition towards spicy books. I absolutely love Huntley Fitzpatrick. I love My Life Next Door. It's such a good book. I really love Say You'll Remember Me. I don't know. It's a, it, I like it a lot. And then here we have all my Abby Gline book, Abby Gline's books. So we start off with the YA series, which is a football romance series. And then this, it, these are her spicy books. All these books were designed, all these books have the cover designed by the same cover artist. Um, I think her artwork is amazing. Look, just look how pretty they are. Look how pretty she is on this cover. These books came out a while ago. Like these are older romance books. So I just have them all stacked here together. I don't, it made sense in my head to put them all together. And then we have more sad books that didn't fit on my sad shelf and a thriller in hardback. So if you remember the Fifty Shades of Grey Wave, this is kind of like books that people that read Fifty Shades of Grey would read. Rush, Gabriel's Inferno, Home the Heart, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. These all fit together. And this shelf is, there are a lot of books on this shelf that were sent to me, which I'm very grateful for, by the way. They all have kind of the same vibe, as you can tell, color-wise. Okay, now we have to climb a bit because this is um, right above my bed. <laughs> That's my Lego set, this decoration. If you want to have a video about all my Lego sets, just comment below. These are my <laughs> spicy fantasy books, as in, you know. In the bed scenes. A lot of scenes while in the bed doing a lot of touch of darkness we have elise koba i love deal of the elf king Petruna soren but yeah the, these books are elves probably an age gap probably marriage between a human and an elf and lots 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 <laughs> this is my biker probe droid this is my fantasy shelf with a um a lot of books the same size and series we have 
Wow! The series is in the wrong order. What is this? Okay, that's. I was happy I noticed that. Bridget Kemmerer fantasy books. I absolutely love the Curse of Dark and Lily trilogy. Shadow and Bone. We have Daughter of Smoke and Bone, which is one of my favorite fantasy series that I started off reading. These are all fantasy books that are two books or less, as well as Greek mythology and surface books. So we have The Wrath and the Dawn. It is so good. Caraval. And then we have Greek retelling. These are my dystopian YA books. We have the Shadow Me series, which is right now my favorite dystopian series after the hunger games i absolutely love the characters i think they're amazing as you can tell i don't have a perfect set i want to get a box set so they can all align since i have three different sizes currently oh and oh my gosh i need to show you this because it just arrived i was able to find the tarot cards we have kenji kishimoto aaron warner juliette ferrars and adam kent but yeah, so down here we have Dystopian, and so my favorite song here are Legendborn. It's so good. I'm so excited for the second book. The Legend Trilogy, Shatter Me. I love Scythe. Can you even see me? I hope, I think you can. These are my tiny books. Most of these are historical romance. These are all kings, queens, courting. May I thy court jewel. My favorites are Married by Morning, Interview with a Vampire, Claiming the Courtesan, Sweet Surrender. Okay, um... We are currently in the hallway. I do not have a shelf yet for my German books. These are all books written by German authors. I have the Game On series by Kristen Callahan in German as well, since I loved it that much. Then we have Emma Scott in German as well. We have Megan March in German as well. I love her books as well. I have Brittany C. Sherry. These are just stacked. There's no real order to these, except that these are German authors. These are not romance thrillers and then these are childhood books i just recently got out of my room because i think my sister might want to read these i also got to show this but i have a nightstand as well uh we have the invisible life of evelyn rue seven houses of evelyn hugo i love those books and then some other books just that fit onto my nightstand in my opinion those are all the books i own um thank you for watching this video i hope this tour was detailed enough for you to get everything you wanted to see why some books work together why the vibe works if you're gonna ask me how many books I own, I really don't know. Maybe you can guess and just comment the amount of books you think I have and I'll count them and then see if they're correct or not. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, press the subscribe button down below. I'm gonna leave details down below on where my shelves are from. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Bye, see you next time.